All right, here we are with our SIGs, and we only have enough for one combo. So let's do this right here. Kimbrel, Carpenter, Bush. We'll save the Lawrence. Three golds. Can we get an Astro? Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, what? No! Oh, no! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, 2018 Firewalls here, back with another MLB 9 Innings 24 video. We're here with the Houston Astros team in today's video, and I've made a couple of changes since my last Astros video, which was a little over a month ago, so let me show you guys those changes that I made right here. So taking a look at the batting order first, nothing has changed as far as my 1-9 through nine guys in the batting order, but I did add two new players on the bench, and they're both vintage cards. The first one is this Jim Wynn from 1969 great hitter i snagged him from the offseason player draw event right before they uh, removed the player draw event so i was very happy about that 17 to powers the train 15 to contact 13 to eye and only 12 to the right side and since he's on the bench i wanted to get super sub on him and i was lucky enough to get a triple three super sub skill set with master base thief and heady hitter not bad at all if i do say so myself so he is going to be a good pinch hitter off the bench and he'll most likely pinch hit for Jordan Alvarez since he's the only outfielder near the back end of this lineup. So very happy with that result. Also, I got this new Joe Morgan who was added with the new historic players. And his primary card is a Cincinnati Reds card. But he did get some other team cards including the Giants. And one of them was the Astros. So I took the Astros card from the historic player draw event that's going on currently. 72 base overall. I didn't really focus on his train that much because I wasn't worried about him, you know having a high power train or anything because he's not going to be in place of Altuve but I did get another good skill set on him super sub and charisma as well and speaking of Altuve since Morgan, Morgan is a second baseman he will pinch hit for Altuve in the eighth spot right there as you guys can see the last upgrade that I made was a black diamond upgrade to Billy Wagner he has a very 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 good grade increase distribution as you guys can see right here 22 to location velocity and fastball his training is all finished special training is good the trainer cards I will eventually upgrade. There's only one gold currently, hoping to make that three golds in the future. And then the skill set I decided to roll with was Untouchable Ace and Finesse Pitcher. Actually, I misspoke. His special training is almost finished. Just one more level to go to get the next diamond skill to level eight. And I also rolled a legend skill set on him. I won't show you guys uh, in the lineup, but I did roll a Control Master 1 2 2 skill set with Elite Closer. So let me know if you guys think I should use that uh, Billy Wagner in the closer role. Although I do, I'll, I'll show you guys this, I do have my closer set already with this Brian Abreu and I think it's going to be pretty hard to replace him with this winning streak finesse and dom skill set, triple three. I mean, I, I don't know, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below if I should take Billy Wagner and put him in place of Abreu and put Abreu in the setup role or whatnot. I'd love to have your guys feedback in the comment section. Anyway, getting into the packs for today, we have two sick player packs, we may have three depending on what else happens today. And before I forget, I'm also going to mention this. We have gotten a ton of Diamond Primes. And when I mean a ton, I mean a ton of Diamond Primes from the My Free Agent Market. And I, I, I have one right now currently waiting to be obtained. But look at this. I've gotten Tim Anderson, Juan Soto, Carlos Santana, uh, Shane, B Shane Bieber, Derek Lowe, just an insane amount of Diamond Primes in the last month or so. And I apologize to you Cleveland teams. I know I'm kind of flexing on you right now, but... I, I, I've pulled so many Diamond Primes, and we're going to do those combos today, and we will end up probably getting a mileage sig pack now that I think of it, if we're doing that, so s just wait and see what happens. Anyway, let's get straight into these packs, enough of me talking and rambling on here. We'll start off with our Silvers, as we only have 13, and speaking of Primes, I was just taking a look at the Astros Primes that were added, and the only two new Primes were... What? This is like the second or third video in a row this has happened. I'm talking about Primes currently. And we get a prime. Can this be one of the new Astros primes? Three, two, one. Ah, no, it's, a, it's an older prime. It's a DJ LeMahieu 2020. Anyway, interrupted what I was saying. New Astros primes. There's only two of them. And the two new Astros primes were one pitcher, one batter. Christian Javier was the pitcher from 2022. And the new batter was Kyle Tucker from 2023. And I do have to say that the Astros have quite a few. And I, when I mean quite a few, I mean a lot of primes. Uh, they have eight pitcher primes and seven batter primes. Uh, I could be wrong about that. They, may, they might have seven pitcher primes and six batter primes, something like that though. But I have to say the Astros are very, very stacked on primes in this game as we get a Luke Weaver diamond right there. 
Um, pretty good relief pitcher skill set, but he's a starter, so that's going to be very interesting if you were to use him on a Cardinals team. Anyway, I'm hoping to get Kyle Tucker or Christian Javier. It's not the biggest need in the world because they're players that already have SIGs in this game, and I would much prefer their SIGs. Anyways, let's finish up these premium player packs here. Any more primes? So we have one prime and one diamond so far. Let's do 10 more. I think this makes 50. It might be 60. I lost count. No diamonds out of this last 10. All right. And that's going to do it for the premium player packs. And I may have to do some special training. Oh, we have one more time to go. One more room for 10. Let's do these nine premium pitcher packs here. Any diamonds? No diamonds. All right. Any primes? Three golds. That's a very uh, nice pattern right there. I forget what it's called. Uh, I, I know there's a term for this type of pattern, but anyway, let's do some special training. Okay, moving on to the premium batter packs here. And let me know, you guys, how many diamond primes have you guys gotten out of the My Free Agent market? As you guys saw, I gotten five diamond primes on this team, and I'm waiting on a sixth right now. My Red Sox team surprisingly has been the team with the least amount of diamond primes. I've only gotten one or two. And that just goes to show how frequently those diamond primes roll around in the my free agent market it's just insane what the drop rate's at let's do premium vintage player packs here six of them can we pull a legend i have a great increase ticket on this team would love to use it and no legend two golds and four silvers no astros right there a dodger and a johnny bench that's a good catcher card right there and a seattle mariner as well all right moving on here let's do team selected packs we only have 10 of them all right, we're going Astros. Can I get a Jeff Bagwell legend? That would be fantastic. Not likely, though. All right, three golds and nine silvers, or seven silvers, excuse me. And it looks like Altuve will be used for BD, as well as that Yuli Gurriel. And speaking of that grade increase that I had, if I, or I have right here, as you guys can see, one grade increase ticket. I forget where it's from anyway. Might have been, might have been from last year from the uh, Pick'em, where I got 15 in a row, or it could have been from the offseason event. I uh, forgot to guess how many diamonds out of ultimates, but we only get one. That's okay. It's going to be an Astro. No, it's going to be a Marlin. Brazobon. I believe he was a rookie last year. Um, not a very good rookie year last year. It was decent, I guess, but it's going to be special training material. Let's move on to team selective ultimate player packs. We have two right here. And let me know what you guys think about that 888 draw event. We're coming up on the week where we can get a free SIG player pack, which I'm excited for. So hopefully that will produce something good on all my teams. We get a Mauricio Dubon here, 67 base. I actually already have this diamond. I'm debating about putting him in the lineup because he's a decent base overall, but I don't think he's going to make the cut. And that's a nice George Springer 2019. We already have his 2020 SIG. Moving on here, we do have Diamond Player Selective Packs. So let's open these up. Can we get more primes? This would be great. First one, we're going to get an Astro. It's a Charlie Morton best year. Uh, sadly, not going to make the rotation though because... He's competing with Christian Javier's 2022 normal card, and that's a tough card to beat. So I'm going to roll again and try and get a prime. Can we do it right here? Okay, no prime, and unfortunately, no other Astro. The best card here seems to be this Rossell Iglesias, surprisingly. So we'll take the Rossell Iglesias and do the next one. Before we do that live season, let's do the last lives or let's do the last Diamond Player selected. That's a good Kershaw. That's another good Lindor. Marlon Bird, a very underrated Giants card. Two Marlon Birds, actually, one for the Phillies and one for the Giants. Not often you see uh, Giants and uh, Phillies Marlon Bird. There's a cockroach flying all over my screen right now, which is bothering me. Anyways, moving on. Last roll here. No Primes, no Astros. We did get a Texas Ranger, though, Alvis Andrews. Uh, looks like we're going to go with that Andrews, too, because he seems to be the best card, unless Arcia is. Ah, they're both equal. Let's go with the Andrews. Just for the Texas troll. Wrong side of Texas. Live season diamond player pack here. We have only one. Can we get a Houston Astro? Haven't gotten a team card out of one of these yet. Can today be the day? No, we get a White Sox. Kevin Pillar. I didn't know Kevin Pillar was on the White Sox. And it looks like he's having a very <laughs> rough start to the season, to say the least. Seven at bats and no hits. 59 base. I may keep that card just for fun. As you guys know, Kevin Pillar's Dodgers card um, is a meme for me or a very interesting... Uh, card that i have kept in my dodgers collection anyway five team select uh team select packs for houston astros let's do this can we get any primes any special cards okay no special cards let's flip these over see who they are all right we get a george springer 16 not going to be useful though 
Uh, Yuli Guriel, 18. I already have his 19, so not good enough. Alvarez, 22. I already have this exact same Alvarez, I believe. And then Tucker, 22, which I believe I already have his 23. So really, really, really good cards. Uh, this Phil Maton also is a nice uh, de half-decent uh, regular card, but I don't think it's going to make my rotation. Any good skills on these guys. Super sub, barrel it up. Super sub, five tools. So some good bench bats, but they're not going to be able to go on the bench. Overall, a good draw from Astros players. We're going to do the League Selective Prime Player Pack here, just because I want to see if I can get a new Astro. We'll be saving the regular Prime Player Packs, though, because I'm waiting for Com to us to change it to where you can open them all, at, all, all up at once. Going American League, because the Astros in the American League. No Diamond. Let's see what it is. If this is David Ortiz or Koji Uehara, I am going to be so upset. Let's flip it right here. Can it be an Astro? No, it's a Minnesota Twin, Justin Morneau, one of the older... Uh, one of the oldest primes in the game actually that was just recently added back in but now that we're done before we get into that sig or those sig player packs i want to open up all my sig player packs at once we're going to do diamond prime combos and let's see if we can get an astros diamond prime again like i said if i end up getting a david ortiz or koji uahara diamond prime i'm going to be upset so we have two right here two uh, combos pending an astros card let's do the first one here let's do low and the two Cleveland Guardians, Santana and Bieber. And we get an Astro. Three, two, one. We get a, a Red Sox, but it's not one that I want. Thank, thank goodness. Andrew Benintendi's 2018 Prime, which was just added into this game. I don't like this Prime at all. It's not, not that it's not good. It's just for my team, it wouldn't be useful. Kind of a troll there, but not really it, only an 86 base as you guys can see compared to anderson and soto there's a couple of better primes out there all right last one last diamond prime combo can we get an astro last time three two one we get a diamond back aj pollock and that is a very solid card as you guys can see 70 base overall on everything um basically everything that's like one of the most balanced cards you'll ever see charisma laser beam it ain't over yet not a great uh, skill set but Thankfully, we didn't get trolled. But now, we have enough mileage to purchase a mileage sig player pack, so we're going to do that first here. Opening up a mileage sig player pack times one. It's no diamond. It's just a regular silver. Let's open it up. Can it be an Astro? We get a Cardinals Matt Carpenter 2018. That is a very solid St. Louis card right there. 36 home runs. I believe this is Matt Carpenter's best year. Correct me if I'm wrong, you St. Louis teams out there. His best hitting card possibly. But no team card there, so we're going to move on to the ones that we have in our inventory. And can we make it happen? Can we get an Astro and use our only great increase ticket in our inventory? Uh, again, two silvers right here. Let's go from left to right, because the last time I went right to left, I got trolled so hard. Starting on the left side, we get um, Brewers, Matt Bush, 2022. Uh, good Brewers relief pitcher. I believe I just got this card recently in my Red Sox live stream, or was it my... Uh, my Texas Rangers live stream. That's pretty funny. And the card on the right is a Colorado Rocky, Justin Lawrence. And I believe I also just recently got this SIG uh, in a recent live stream. So deja vu there for you. Anyway, we have one SIG combo to do. Let's get into that. All right, here we are with our SIGs, and we only have enough for one combo. So let's do this right here. Kimbrel, Carpenter, Bush. We'll save the Lawrence. Three golds, and we get an Astro. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, what? No! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> what? No, they... <laughs> What? No. That's that's good, but it's not. No, why do I do? What? What do I do? How? Oh no, no. That's the no. That's one of the worst things that could have happened. I saw the Houston Astros emblem and then I saw the name. Oh my goodness. Now what do I do? That is so conflicting. 
79 velocity is the only thing better. I already have the Prime B deed. Oh, I have a Legend skill on him. I just got the Sig. What? I knew this was eventually going to happen on one of my teams, and it just had to be today. It had to be today. I, I, I guess you can argue the Sig would be better, and I could. I don't know. Oh my goodness. What do I do? I'm almost done special training him too. Oh my goodness. Comtuus has to be the troll of trolls and just even even when it's successful. Even when it's successful, it has to be very, very... <laughs> I don't even know what you would call it. Just trolly. It's so crazy. I'm not upset. It's a, it's a team sig, and I could use it for a craft, or I could use him in the lineup, but I'm going to have to ask you guys, and I'm going to ask a, a couple other guys, what am I going to do with the Billy Wagner sig when I have the BD Prime maxed out basically at level 10 already? I That is so funny. Well, what a turn of events in today's video, guys. I was not expecting to get trolled in that way i've never gotten trolled in that way any in, in before on my free to play teams but that's that's a first there's a first time in this game for everything so that's a first for me getting a dupe card that is you see this okay and i can finally talk about this this is the reason why i hate it and i i mean it when i say hate it i hate it when come to us adds sig cards for players that already have primes or they add prime cards for players that already have sigs because if i end up pulling the sig which is in 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 technicality it's better because it gets the bonus then it leaves me in this situation where i don't know who i want to use and i'm a free to play team so it's not like i'm getting a team sig anytime soon possibly if i get super lucky again but it's not i know i know i pull a lot of team sigs guys but it's because i have so many teams don't get me wrong if this were my soul astros team i wouldn't be pulling team six this often i can guarantee you that uh, but this is the exact predicament i've been worried about since the beginning when they started doing this when they started adding primes with that already had six and six that already had primes it just turns into this situation right here let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below who should i use should i use the grain increase i'll probably post a poll i'm going to counsel some of my old club members and some of my um more knowledgeable friends about the game and how the new meta works and what whether the prime would be better or the sig what the benefits are but that's gonna do it for me today i have a big decision to make if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like down below hit share and subscribe feel free to check out the other mlb 9 innings youtubers in the description box down below they make great mlb 9 innings content and i know you guys would enjoy their content and I know that content creators would appreciate your support. Feel free to also check out my social media platforms to Reddit, Instagram, and Discord. All the links, again, in the description box down below. But that's going to do it for me. I have a big brain buster. I have a big... Oh, I can't even think right now. This is mind-boggling to me. I have a big decision to make. God bless you all. Jesus loves you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.